The Ministry, we have a priority for looking out for the welfare, the well-being and the safety of our children. And you recognize that the school system is a microcosm. It's a little small representation of what society is like. And unfortunately, what we are seeing happening out there in the wider society does not spell well for what our children are learning. Children will live what they learn. And if they are learning things that they ought not to be learning outside of school, rest assured that when they come into this school, they will probably bring it with them. What is important for us to be able to do, and we spoke to the security people at both um, St. Bartholomew as well as at Shirley Chisholm, it is important for those who have responsibility for safeguarding the premises of our schools to ensure that they are vigilant and to ensure that persons who are coming to the schools are coming and they either have an appointment and if they don't have an appointment and they have to be there for whatever legitimate reason that we are asking the public to please bring your ID card if you are going to be coming to the school premises for any reason. You are going to find that at some schools, most most schools, we would like to say all schools, that the security is going to be more significant. You will have to offer your name. You will have to offer your name of your child. You have to offer the purpose for which you will be coming and you will have to show your ID card at the gates. We are asking for the public to please comply, understanding that this is in the best interest of your child. But I think the problem of Ellis is much wider than the school situation. The principals and deputy principals and the school management, we are asking them to be more vigilant and to let discipline be the standard. And that there, there should not be any slackness. This is where there is tight management, our relationship with the police, our relationship with the communities around us must be tight. And it is that the responsibility also of the principals and the deputy principals and the entire school team to build those relationships with community and with law enforcement to ensure that when those horrible things will seek to come from the outside and bring themselves into their schools, that they have the proper protocols, that they have the proper standards, and they have the proper communication and relationship to be able to deal with them immediately and to be able to protect the community. Our ministry, we are putting that security as a priority, and we ask that all who are involved please comply particularly with the new protocols for entering our schools.